Okay, this video is for William Newton. Uh, he sent the power supply back. Basically, I'm uh, doing a video to show that the new replacement is working. It's uh, 5 o'clock on 7 5, day after 4th of July. We'll just go over here, label the unit so that it says uh, it has your name. Replacement unit. This is isolated power supply. It's a Dell 12 volt, 57 amp, 700 watt power supply. Also got a little tamper sticker, um, you know, just to cover my ass. Uh, basically, your new unit powers on, so both of those uh, lights are lit. All right. All right. The fan is running. Has the little jumper mod down here. Unplug it, it ramps up. Alright, so that proves that's working. Alright, this is hooked up to my iCharge, just following the wires. My charger says 11.86 volts. All right, and I'm just gonna do this test to show that the unit is isolated from the uh, from the chassis. Um, negative lead is plugged into the negative of the power supply, and I'm just running this all along the case. This will help if I bring the meter over here. All right. If there was, uh, if it wasn't isolated, you'll see numbers pop up. All right. So this unit is isolated, and I'm going to do a burn-in test um, in just a second. Basically, I think what happened is. Uh, Basically where this fan is, the wires, they sit down on the fan and it sometimes can cause the board to short to the board that's beneath it. And so basically what I've done is I've put these little, um, let's see, there's these little pieces of paper and I'll put them in there like so, so basically uh, one, I put it in between the two boards so that if the board does get pressed down, that's not going to short to the board beneath it. And then I put another one on top just in case, just for good measure. So I'm going to start doing this to all the units. Um, takes one failure to, to basically uh, pioneer a way of making, making things a lot more reliable. So... Uh, basically what I'm going to do now is I got my iCharger 4010 Duo. You have a 57 amp power supply. This iCharger can load this uh, power supply down to uh, 65 amps. And so I'm basically going to hold it at 65 amps for about 5 amp hours. I've currently discharged uh, 9.8 amp hours out of this pack. So I'm going to just basically run it in. I'm going to uh, charge it up to about 5 amp hours and terminate charge, so give me one second. It's set at 60 amp, it's not gonna charge at 60 amp, it's gonna charge kinda closer to possibly 40, 40, 45, so. I'm also gonna undo this fan mod since I'm gonna be heavily loaded this power supply down. So the fan should be ramping up. All right, so we're back at the eye charger. I'm basically down here. It shows you how many amps the power supply is putting out.
going to load it down to 65 amps. It's going to be charging at 28 amps. Just filling the exhaust air off the power supply. Filling the connection, make sure they're not overheating. Although it is a, uh, quite quite a bit warm. <laughs> Just checking the air temperature. Case is still cool, but the exhaust air is a little bit warm. Again, that's a 57 amp power supply, loaded down to 65 amps. Cable's quite warm. It's 10 gauge wire, 65 amp. I believe the limit of uh, 
four millimeter bullets, these bullets are quite hot. Hitting three amp powers, got two more to go when I terminate charge. Basically, I'm probably roughly loading this up down for about 10 minutes at 65 amps. Once I get done with this, then I'm gonna just box it and get it ready to ship. Four amp hours in about nine minutes, nine and a half minutes.
which is loading voltages at 11.23 when it's fully loaded. We're at 5,000 or uh, 5 amp hours and we're at stop charge. Voltage rebounds to 11.86. I'm just uh, again following the wire back to the charger so you know that this is your charger that I tested. Yeah, both lights are on. Fan is running. Alright, thanks for watching.